Hey everyone, it's Eva Migajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we beat Whitney in this video, we're gonna be heading out of town. And uh, actually, no, before we head out of town, we're just gonna go head over here because we need to get something before we leave town. And that would be coming into this flower shop here. Let's talk to this lady here. Apparently, there is an odd tree on Route 36. We saw that a few episodes ago. They say it dances when you water it. Oh, that's a plain batch from Goldenrod Gym. Did you defeat Whitney? Well, there's nothing to worry about. So yes, come here first. Uh, before you head out of town, otherwise you're gonna be getting all the way to Route 36 and being like, oh my god, I need the Squirt model to progress and then having to come back to Goldenrod City and uh, it's just annoying. So yeah, once you beat Whitney, you can go ahead and do that. So yeah, here we are. This is a new route. This is Route 35. I don't think there are any new Pokemon that appear in this route. Just let me check my notes real quick, actually. Are you coming to the gym? Me too! Well, I already beat the gym, so... Me too, I guess. Alright, who we have here? Picnic of Kim. Vulpix. Okay. Oh, this probably is not a good idea against Heracross. Um... Hmm. Switch to the Flaffy, I guess. Alright, and it's going raw. That's just wonderful. Uh, don't go into Heracross, please. Oddish, okay. You can kill Oddish. Go ahead and kill Oddish, please. Just kill it. Will-O-Wisp? Why? Why wouldn't you kill it? Uh... Unbelievable. Anyway, while we're in this fight, yeah, there are a couple of new Pokemon that appear in this route. We have Yanma. Yanma is... Uh, well... As a Yanma, it's terrible, but you can evolve it into Yanmega, which is an even better Pokemon. Yanmega, well, they're um, bug flying type. Look, Yan Yanma isn't that bad, but Yanmega is better, obviously. It's the evolution. Um, it has the ability of speed boost, which is actually pretty helpful. So at the end of every single turn, your speed gets boosted by one stage. Um, so if you're looking to sweep... How am I faster than this thing? What? Oh, it's probably about to use raw. Uh, so you can... Make this a pretty good sweeper, I guess. Um, other stats aren't too bad, but, you know, why is it sending out all these Pokemon for? Um, yeah, it's not that bad of a Pokemon, but there are better Pokemon out there. Uh, other Pokemon you can find in this route now, you can find Nidoran. Both Nidorans, actually. Bulk up. That's interesting. Uh, you can find Nidoran Male, which is the more aggressive form. It's the, uh, has a higher attack stat. Um, and you can find Nidoran Female, which I used in my Pokemon Leaf Green. Oh! Outrage! Uh, <laughs> Nidoran Female, which I used in my Pokemon Leaf Green. Let's play so you guys know how I feel about Nidoran Female. It's a good Pokemon. It's more defensive than Nidoran Male. Uh, you can also find Abra on this route. Abra is a psychic type Pokemon. Abra is a really, really good Pokemon. If you get your hands on an Abra, it is worth keeping because it evolves into Kadabra. And Kadabra is just such a good Pokemon. It really is. Um has one of the highest special attack stats in the game. So, yeah. Is this Vulpix gonna kill me or what? This is please sending some, thank you. Uh, only issue is now it's gonna be giving spread experience points to Pokemon that I don't want experience points to go to. Uh. But yeah, that just about does it for the new Pokemon that I found in this route. Uh, continuing on, there is a few good items and good trainers you can actually fight on this route that I want to fight all of them because they're worth the experience points. Because as you probably can tell, I'm quite underleveled. And being underleveled at this point of the game is such a terrible idea because the game starts to get a little bit difficult from here. And guess what? They really don't help with giving you garbage low-level Pokemon to fight. But oh no, the gym leaders are still getting tougher, but the trainers around them are... Oh, pardon me, it's still garbagely weak. It's absolutely trash how they did that. I hate how they did that about Johto. That's like the only thing I hate about Johto as well. How, like, the difficulty spike in gym leaders just, like, goes up really high, but the trainers around the gyms just aren't all that special. Uh... I still can't believe that godforsaken Vulpix is roaring everything. And I can't believe it didn't roar into any of my good Pokemon. Like, it just kept roaring into my garbage Pokemon into my slaves, and that's really frustrating. Uh, 
And critical, didn't matter anyway. I don't think Marowood will survive the Razor Leaf from Leaf Bot, but whatever. Oh yeah, because I'm gonna lose for your girlfriend, whatever. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Yeah, well, I just destroyed him without even taking any damage, I don't think, so that just goes to show how weak your pathetic boyfriend is. Oh, a Pikachu, yeah. Uh, this is one thing I actually liked about, um... Generation 4. How... Like... Different Pokemon that had different... Like, Pokemon that had different genders and stuff that had, like... Why am I using Air Ace in this thing? It resisted. Uh, had, like, different... Things on it, I guess you could say. Like, the Pikachu's tail for, um... For a female is... It has, like, a, like a heart-shaped tail kind of thing. And, like... Um, a Wobbuffet female has lipstick on for some reason. Uh, it's, it's just so funny. Uh, I only went Aerial Ace there because he used double team. I didn't really want to risk uh, missing with horn attack, so... Ah, oh, so close to level 16. Uh, we're only four levels away from winning Brick Break as well, so... Although Brick Break's going to be useless against the next gym. I've been getting Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. What the hell's a radio going to tell you? Like, the stuff that they say on the radio isn't even that good. Like, if we listen to the radio right now, it's just garbage. It's just like, oh my god, this Pokemon is so nice and soft. It is so fantastic. I love it so much. So because they say it's a soft Pokemon, it means it's good. Okay, well. Alright, whatever your name. I think your name was Todd, was it? I don't know. Level 16, good. And the Zubats, stay in. Ah, uh, see what I mean? These guys are so weak. It's an absolute joke at how weak these guys are. And another Diglett, we're going to Leaf Fight again. Uh, the main star players in my next gym will be Flaffy and, um... Uh, Heracross again. Her Heracross would be spamming Aerial Ace. Um, and once again, Leaf Bot's not going to be that good against the next gym because, like I said, when you choose the Grass Starter, it kind of is like playing the game on hard mode. Camper Ivan. I don't know where the hell I got Todd from. I know there is definitely a Camper Todd in this game, though, but I just don't know where the hell I got that from. You! Behold my dexterity and grace! Okay. Juggler Erwin. I love the juggler sprite in this game. <laughs> I don't know what level two! Oh man, I forgot you had this Pokemon. Why? This is what I mean about Johto. Like, why? W what exactly do you get out of that? I have whole 43 experience points. I probably could have taken it out with it with Aerial Ace, but it would the animation slower. Oh man. And Voltorb isn't even that good of a Pokemon. Why would they make it so weak? Oh great, yeah, and then I get paralyzed. That's that's just my luck. Uh yeah, this his his entire team is just a bunch of Voltorb if you couldn't tell, because he's a juggler, so I guess that means he juggles Voltorb. Uh, And there it goes. And another Volta. I believe this one's going to be level 10. Yep. I'm surprised I haven't had the Para Hacks yet. Ah, oh, man. Alright, well, that's the end of Juggler Irwin and his useless team of Voltorb. That was a jolt. Okay, at least he ended it with a good pun. Alright. Yeah, I want to get this guy's number because when he rings you, he says some really funny shit. Like, and I mean funny in like a lewd way. Not funny in like a haha, that's hilarious way. Uh... Yeah, you know, just a chat, he says. Uh, I want to use... Uh, do I have a berry that heals paralysis? No, I don't. Oh, wait. Chesterberry, of course I do. No, wait, that's, that's, the, that's the heal sleep. What the hell am I talking about? 
Uh, God, I don't have anything to heal paralysis. Oh, I got a full heal. I guess I could use that. I don't really want to use this, but it saves me going back to the Pokemon Center, which I don't want to do. You! I'm practicing my fire breathing. This guy has a magma, I believe, or two of them, which might be like... Which might mean death for Heracross, but... That's alright. Uh, I can just switch now, because I know that Heracross will definitely get enough experience points to go to level 17. And we're going to Flaffy. Flaffy is the only thing on my team that isn't weak to fire at the moment. Smoke screen. Surprised it didn't use Ember, but whatever. Uh, whatever floats your boat. And, oh wow. Okay, Magma with apparently a good special defense. Must have a special defense inducing nature, surely. I mean, I know Thundershock isn't the most powerful attack in the world, but... Jeez. Oh, right, level 17, that's good. And another Magma will stay in. Even though accuracy is level 16, okay, well. Leer again, seriously? I might need to switch into like a, like, Oddish or something just as Death Motto because with my defense down twice, yay, paralysis. And my accuracy down by one, that could mean death for Flaffy, so we'll switch into Oddish just so Magma can kill it. Oh, come on, please. Why aren't any of these trainers on this route attacking me? They're all just using these garbage defensive moves and, oh man. And I'm faster than it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's like the turn I didn't want to be like paralyzed, but uh, whatever. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. And we'll finish off with a Thundershock. And wait, no, we won't finish you off because you survived the previous one. There's Ember. Why didn't you use that on Oddish? Oh, great. Now I'm burned. That's just fantastic. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Fuck my life. Uh, Alright, come on, level 21, please. Thank you, yay, we're getting somewhere with levels. Screw you, Fire Breather, Walt. Kill my Flaffy like that with... Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I'll exchange numbers with you. This is gonna, this is gonna kill me in the future, but... Ah. Uh... Right, okay. I swear to God. Stop! Stop, please! I'm gonna destroy you! Ah! I should probably go pick up those items at some point, shouldn't I? Alright, let's get a repel up. Do I have any repels left? Oh, I still got two. Fantastic. No! Don't trash it. Shit. Alright. I'm gonna go over here before we head into the National Park. Never mind, I'm gonna get caught by this trainer. I'll go anywhere if Bug Pokemon appear there. There is only one bug Pokemon that, appear in, that, that appears in this route, you moron. And it isn't even Venonat, it's a freaking Yanma. And Yanma only has a 1% appearance rate, but you know what? You're gonna die. You're gonna die a painful death to Aerial Ace. Goodbye, Venonat. Not even that good of a Pokemon. Get out. I see, so you can battle that way. Yeah, well, you can battle without bug type Pokemon? Who would have thought? Yeah, we have Arnie's number now. whoop the friggin do Cool. Alright, well, there's an item right there that we can get. Let's go ahead and get it. Hey, Paralyzed Hill, you fucking prick. I could have used that, like, five minutes ago. Fuck. Item? No. Okay. What about in this patch of grass here? That's a big item. Really? There isn't? Okay. They're just teasing us now, aren't they? These evil people. Effect to off, but I know there is an item down here, surely. Yes, there is. Haha. -ha. TM66 Payback. Interesting move. It'll do double the amount of damage if you go second after being hurt. So, yeah. It's a dark type move, by the way. It's very interesting. What kinds of Pokeballs do you use? I use all different kinds of Pokeballs. I've used two Pokeballs and a Netball so far for the Pokemon that, are using, that I'm using on my team. Besides, why are you so concerned if you're using Pokeballs anyway, you loser? Alright, let's kill you with Aerial Ace, and that'll be the end of Pidgey. Goodbye. 
Oh, what? PG, what? Why are you so bulky? What the heck? That's weird. Surprised I survived an aerial ace, but whatever. And the Pidgeotto will go into Flaffy for this. We're we'll sleeping, then we're burned. Fucking hell. Everyone on my team is just getting burned to hell this video. It's kind of strange. Alright. Oh, quick attack. Yeah, I hope you get paralyzed, Pidgeotto. Yay! <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. That's that's some funny shit. That's, that truly is funny. Yay, it's dead. You stupid bird. Yeah, well, you're dead anyway, so goodbye. And, oh, are you kidding me? I've got to run all the way back up here. What? When did the repels effect wear off? Oh, I can't believe we're being interrupted by this chocolate dip banana elephant. You know, Heracross just killed this thing. It's worth the experience points, I think. Oh, what? Oh, you gotta be drowsy. Fuck. All right, well. Goodbye. Um. Here we are at the National Park. Unfortunately, today is Sunday, though, so we can't actually participate in the bug catching contest, but. Pokeathlon Dome is this way. Please go through the entrance gate and participate in the games. Over here is the Pokeathlon, but I think we'll save that for the next video, alright? Sorry if this video is kind of boring with all those trainer battles, but anyway. Next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we'll check out the Pokeathlon, alright? See what we can get here. See you guys then.